Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome here to the Launchpad and our live launch coverage of SpaceX Starlink 15-9, launching from Slick 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name's Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad Network, and here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together, and we're glad to have you joining us live here today. Today's Falcon 9 booster is booster 1093 going for its third flight. It's a young one on a 32-day turnaround after previously supporting... Uh, sorry, after previously such a small list, two previous Starlink missions. It hasn't flown anything but Starlinks. Uh, it is going to be attempting, as usual, to land on the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Station downrange in the Pacific Ocean. As usual, SpaceX no longer provides live coverage through Starlink deployment. Today's deployment is scheduled for 1 hour, 1 minute, 20 seconds after liftoff. SpaceX will confirm that deployment via their social medias. Now, I, I mentioned it in the chat a little earlier. Normally, we go live a bit earlier than this, give you guys a live view at some of the weather conditions via the GO satellites. But unfortunately, the, the NOAA system went down about 5 minutes prior to when we were planning to go live, as we normally would for our commentary coverage. But... We're here live anyway, SpaceX is live, and we're hopefully well into propellant loading, and there is a live view of Slick 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, where SpaceX is getting fueled up and ready to go for today's flight. T-minus 4 minutes, 47 seconds and counting. We will sync our T-0 clock with theirs as we continue through today's countdown. As always, if we're, as we get started, take a moment, engage that like button, share out the stream, invite people to join us while we count down to launch here today. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking me at the launch pad, and I'll work on answering those live here today. At T minus four minutes, 20 seconds and counting, we got lots of people tuning in from all over the world. Uh, we got Well Rider in Channel Islands, Miles is in Nova Scotia, Penny's in North Carolina, Robbie's in South Dakota. Jenny is in Buffalo, New York. We got Windbreaker in South Arkansas. Chaz is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Miles is outside watching. Welcome. It's great having you all here with us live tonight. As always, if you want to stay up to date on the latest of the launch schedule, you can head over to tlpnetwork.com. Click on that launch button. We're going to be rolling out some new things in the coming weeks and months on those mission briefings, so make sure you keep an eye out to those and to our launch coverage. If you're interested in becoming part of the TLP crew, consider hitting that join button in the chat you can fill out an application we're going to get uh, back to resuming some of those interviews as we continue to expand the network's team bringing you guys even better coverage of everything space and space news from around the world that l minus three minutes 20 seconds and counting i did just want to take a personal moment uh, and say thank you so much to the entire tlp crew for the support that they have been uh, to my family over the last month and a half uh, with the loss of my grandfather. Um, it has been a, a special day today. Today would have been his 76th birthday, uh, but today we gathered with um, over 50, 60 uh, family, friends and family and neighbors and colleagues and uh, from uh, all different eras of his life to celebrate him. And uh, we are just so thankful for, um, I, I am so thankful for uh, Lewis. Uh, one of our TLP uh, advisors and moderators and broadcasters uh, for stepping in to, to give me and my family that space, as well as to all of our moderators and rocket chasers for just supporting my family over the last uh, month and a half as we navigate this loss. And to you as a community for uh, your understanding, we missed uh, only a couple of streams, but the lack of commentary and everything, we're going to get back to more normal. Um, that's what Papa would want. Um, but uh, I, I appreciate just all the, the comments and love that uh, all of you have shared. If you're still interested in becoming and helping support uh, the GoFundMe for his memorial, that's still an option as we work to fund a memorial at the Heart Institute uh, as he was a 43-year survivor of cardiac care. If you want more information, let me know in the chat and we can get that to you. Uh, but also take the time, learn CPR. It gave my family 13 and a half days and you never know. Uh, when you'll be called to use it, but one day you might be in your hands might uh, be the gift to someone else's family or even your own family, even just for a few more hours, and uh, it would be a blessing. So get trained. Uh, just look up CPR training near me on Google 
for your browser of choice and uh, get that training done. It's just a day, but it's so worth it. A T minus one minute, 20 seconds and counting. I'm going to spool up SpaceX's audio, listen in, and I'll take you through the commentary and coverage from launch to the first stage booster landing and second stage engine cutoff for the first time. But Papa at T minus one minute, seven seconds. Happy birthday. We miss you. This one's for you. T minus one minute and counting. Falcon 9 is in startup. Launch director, go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And lift off of Falcon 9. Go SpaceX, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has cleared the tower and beginning its journey to low Earth orbit. The first milestone of today's flight will be max Q, the moment of peak mechanical stress on the vehicle, set to occur one minute, six seconds into flight. Falcon 9 currently traveling with power and telemetry nominal. nominal. 900 kilometers an hour, 1,000 kilometers an hour in speed, currently experiencing, we were at 1.9 Gs, you see it throttling back there now down to 1.4 as we approach max Q, Falcon and 9 is supersonic. Throttling back up through supersonic, and we'll see it increase that G forces once we reach max, max Q. Max Q. There's that call for max Q. Falcon 9 now throttling up, now experiencing 2.3 Gs and increasing. Traveling over 2,500 kilometers in altitude, passing 20 kilometers in altitude. In just under a minute, I'm we will have Nico, or first stage main engine cutoff, immediately followed by first and second stage separation, grid fin deploy on the first stage, second stage engine startup, and about 20 seconds later, fairing deployment, where those Starlink satellites on board, the 26 of them, will be exposed to the vacuum of space for the very first time. T plus two minutes into flight coming up. Falcon 9 now traveling over 4,900 kilometers an hour, an hour in speed, passing 40 kilometers in altitude, standing by for Miko. Falcon 9 now experiencing is falling a nominal trajectory. 3.6 Gs in preparation for Miko. Stage Man, separation confirmed. I'm back, start up. Fairing separation confirmed. And those 26 Starlinks now exposed to vacuum of space for the first time. Let's see those Apogee guesses in the chat for the first stage. Apogee is Both the highest are following point, nominal trajectories. The highest point in flight that the first stage will achieve. Some incredible views there from the ground of the first stage and the second stage, as well as the fairings there, all visible on the left side of your screen. 
Apogee, as I said, is the highest point uh, that the first stage achieves. The first stage is not currently under power. It's bleeding that off as it stretches to its highest altitude. The second stage continue under power, now traveling over 9,000 kilometers an hour, passing 121 kilometers in altitude. The first stage will conduct two burns on its journey back down to the drone ship. The first burn, the entry burn, will start at 6 minutes, 8 seconds into flight. The landing burn starting 7 minutes, 51 seconds into flight. We're keeping an eye on that speed in the bottom left corner of your screen. When we see that speed null out and then start to increase, then we will have achieved that apogee. I see lots of guesses coming in the chat. We'll see if we have a winner here tonight on those guesses. It's always a little different depending how many Starlinks are on board, weather conditions, and so much more. We're at 119. Is it going to push 120? Is it going to push over? And we're increasing in speed. Nope. Ding, ding. 119. That is the number here tonight. Uh, Apollo said 118. Capital B said 118. So close. Let's see. Did anyone say 119? Windbreaker 117. Penny 115. Uh, Monty S said 119. Congratulations. You got a right guess there. Uh, Princess said 119 as well. I think that's the second one in a row. Princess has gotten awesome little bit of fun as we... Uh, follow along today's flight we're waiting for that landing burn as always if you guys have questions you can send those in the chat by tagging me both vehicles at the, continue to follow nominal trajectories at the launch pad and i can work on answering those live as well if you haven't yet join us over on the tlp discord that's where our community hangs out in between streams and we would love to see you over there as that's where our community hangs out as i said in between streams and talks about everything space happening around the world and there has been a lot over the last month and a half that i have missed Lots to still talk about and some big changes and developments coming up this year and next year with the future of NASA, Starship, and so much more. We have an amazing community place that uh, we get to talk about all of that. T plus 5 minutes, 40 seconds into flight. That Falcon 9 first stage preparing for its entry burn set to occur about 30 seconds from now. The entry burn today is going to last about 25 seconds uh, during that period of time. It'll ignite three of its engines to help it slow down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere and help protect the vehicle from the supersonic heating of re-entry. The landing burn will ignite one engine in preparation for landing on the drone ship. Let's listen for the call-out of entry burn and a good entry burn progress. Stage 1 entry burn startup. Stage 1 FTS has saved. H1 entry burn shutdown. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And a good entry burn there. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a live view from the first stage as it flies through the Earth's atmosphere, heading down to the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. I always like to point out here, look at the speed being bled off there. Right now, there's no engine firing on the first stage. It's just using the thickness of the Earth's atmosphere its body and its grid fins to kind of fly itself down to the drone ship and bleeding off a lot of that speed. The second stage still st under power, traveling now 18,800 kilometers an hour and rapidly increasing, passing 150 kilometers in altitude in preparation to arrive at its initial parking orbit. Now the second stage will conduct a second burn. That second burn will occur 52 minutes, stage 57 one, seconds on into flight. Stage for two, two FTS has saved. Uh, and uh, it will run a very short burn there in, uh, to finalize it into its deployment orbit in preparation of Starlink deployment, one minute hour, one minute, 20 seconds into flight. We are awaiting the beginning of that landing burn set to occur here in about... Landing burn. Looks like their timeline on their website's a little bit off. We've got a landing burn already here at uh, T plus seven minutes, 59 seconds. Maybe we'll get a live Stage view from the drone ship, guidance. hopefully, maybe not. There's the drone ship view. Looks like they might have lost that camera from on board the booster, but we'll hopefully have a great view here from on board the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. No microphone on this drone ship, so just the visuals here tonight. And there is a touchdown. A little wiggling there of the booster. Looks like the seas might have a little sway to them. Falcon 9 booster 1093. 
completing its third ascent and descent for its mission history. A T plus 8 minutes, 35 seconds in flight. We're waiting for that final confirmation of SECO-1. That is the shutdown of the second stage in preparation for that coast period. And there we have SECO-1 confirmed. Well, that is going to do it for us here tonight. As always, stay tuned to our social media as well as our Discord to stay up to date on the latest of the launch schedule. Head over to tlpnetwork.com. Click on that launch button. Incredible view there in the background. The jellyfish trail being left behind by the first stage there. If you happen to get photos or videos of today's launch from the Los Angeles area, make sure you send them to us over on social media, TLPN underscore official, or you can share it over on our Discord as well. That is going to do it for us here tonight from our TLP Canada studio. My name is Zach, and we will see you next time because space is better together. This one was for you, Papa. Happy birthday. We love you. We miss you. Thank you for everything. We'll see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.